Hey everybody, it's your boy Warwind, and ah, this is gonna be a weird video. So I'm doing two things in this video. So let's go ahead and get the main thing out of the way. Free work. What do I mean by free work is basically you doing free work for people. Now, I know that's weird. You don't have to do this, but I do it sometimes. With doing free work, I pick the people I want to give to freely because it adds to my portfolio and I like helping out people look better. And this is mostly in the graphic design area. Uh, when it comes down to my artwork, um, uh, that's a little bit more of a struggle. Now, this is a method you could actually do. Don't let someone bug you into doing something free for them, and you know you want that dough. One of the things I hate clients doing is guilting an artist or a designer or anybody to give them a discount. You know who you are, and I know you've done it. Don't lie to me. When people guilt me or try to guilt me into doing something for them free, I actually like picking on them and making the price higher than what it is. I don't know. Is is that a bad thing or is that a is is that a is that a troll thing? I don't know. Can I make that a meme or can I can I get away with that? Can I be can I be a, a money troll? I've been one to heckle a few people that actually gave me a hard time about my prices, and that. It has been rewarding and dooming all at the same time, but it is something that you will have to uh, think about. There are people that will do this, so be ready for it. So like I was saying before, don't just do free work when someone asks of it. You do it yourself. It feels better that way, and when you attach it to people that you love and care about, whether it's someone new that you've met or you've heard their story of what they're trying to do with their businesses or what they're trying to produce, help them out. Now, it can be draining, but make sure you can cut yourself off on those areas of how much you're gonna give. Be mindful of that, because I've given so much that I've made myself sour. Now, there's a lot of things in my portfolio that I happen to do for free, and there's a lot of it that I actually got a pretty nice penny for but here's the thing when it comes down to your free work it's adding to your portfolio and adding free work to your portfolio guess what when someone talks about a piece that you did for free sometimes it could be okay sometimes it could be really awesome but no one has to know that you did it for free one of the things also when it comes down to the people that I've done things for free I've also asked them please um don't tell nobody I did this for you some of them have been immensely grateful and felt like that was the best payment they could do was not tell anybody I did it for them for cheap or for like free. Also disclaimer, don't use this to actually ask me for anything for free. I will like heckle the mess out of you and I will send you the worst virus your computer has ever gotten. You heard? Now that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and go to the next subject. I don't know why I said subject. Maybe I should say topic. Does it matter? This is not something really silly or stupid to say. I don't know. Am I teaching y'all? Maybe. Are you getting anything out of this? Is it helpful? Leave me a comment down below. Okay, so this next topic is basically me talking about what I'm doing here. So, as you can see, I've started posting videos. Uh, well, I've been posting videos for a while. The only thing about it, I haven't been this consistent, and I've always had a hard time actually trying to tell people the things that I do, and if it helps me, and maybe it may help you. The factors are that I want to help a lot of people when it comes down to the things that I'm interested in and the things that they're interested in. That's really funny is my colors are almost caught up with each other. They interlapped with each other for a second. What I'm saying is, is I'm trying to produce some stuff that 
actually helps you guys out and it, it comes off as a therapeutic thing for me because I actually like talking to the camera but I'm actually building my confidence up a lot more so if you notice that you know that my speech pattern in this is a whole lot better than it has been in the first few videos yeah, my confidence is going way up but as of sharing the things that I experience and the things that I can share I would like to keep this going a whole lot longer not asking for anything but just share and like my videos or you know comment talk to me in them share your opinions I'll share my opinions it can really go either or lately it's been a struggle for me to actually pump out content because I'm trying to figure out a good way for me to do so I can't do as much as I'd like to because I'm doing so much in the background along with being able to share so much of my artwork such as like my speed drawing videos as much as I enjoy doing that I don't know if that is the right area I want to go with showing you things now I don't mind showing them and I like kind of you know showing my process do I want to teach it I can and I'm thinking about doing so as a long term because I'm preparing a video for you now as of teaching artwork or teaching an art style or teaching the basics of you know just figure drawing or you know building a world like my channel is world builder now actually following with my title screen of world builder there's a completely different way I'm trying to actually produce these videos and right now as of talking about me and getting you guys to kind of know where I am how I'm doing what I'm like what I know world builder will progress into actually showing you the worlds that I build it's kind of a big word or big subject right there world builder and I think the best way to actually put it is me building a story and that is what most of you guys know of is Skylark those that follow me and watch my art on Instagram follow me by the way I'm building something with a group of friends that we're pulling our ideas and uh, stories that we want to tell the world cool but it's been a struggle for each one of us the reasons why we're a team is because we're actually helping each other out and I'm doing what I can to help my boys out with the things that they're trying to produce and vice versa they're helping me now with world builder i'm trying to actually push my skylark series and i'm trying to figure out the best ways to go about it and as much as i've been producing for over 12 years of skylark i'm going to be putting in a lot of work towards that here in the next few months to next year it's time to wrap things up, so go ahead and uppercut that like button, share, and subscribe. This is your boy Whirlwind, and I am out. Oh yeah, I'm finna pop, yeah baby Hit the spot like summer and some dipping dots Jackpot sound coming at you through a different slot You can try your luck but end up missing from a